it, there's no arguing that online dating, whether it's Tinder, Tinder, Hinge, Bumble, whatever it is, even seeking arrangements, um, they the the idea is this: is that 80 percent of guys on those on online platforms. Are, are classified as unattractive. Yeah, These are I, the guys that are never going to, they're the, they, they're the invisibles. I call them the 80 percenters, right? When, when yeah. people give me this this bullshit about like, oh, here's the 80-20 rule in uh, in my, in the manosphere in, in, in Ripple, it's not it, it's not about 80 percent of guy or 20 percent of guys banging 80 percent of women. Like, get this straight, please. It's 100 percent of women want the top 20 percent of guys. And so what happens is those 80 percent of guys are sort of the undesirables. They're the in, invisibles that 20 percent of guys are not necessarily attractive they're just not unattractive so yeah. they might do of that 20 percent only four and a half percent of them are hot enough interesting enough good looking enough for them to initiate some sort of contact with that guy four and a half percent so when we when we talk about the uh, the 80 20 rule, I, I really I'm really trying to stress for accuracy on these days. But when it comes to physical arousal, as I was saying before, it's that I mean those are the that's the the the, the, not the statistical break right there. So for a guy to be hot, for a Justin Waller or whatever you know like a, 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 you know, a Mike Sartain for that matter, it's to get that right swipe to actually be interested enough to initiate contact, he's got to be within the top four percent of the, at least the available guys that are in that are on Tinder at that at that time. The other twenty percent, those are the guys who kind of have to like figure it out. Like okay. They got to they got to get themselves in shape. They got to have some more value added to put them into uh, in, to become acceptable. So so let's let's just ask some questions just so you guys understand mm -hmm. what the the number of men that you think that have had zero sexual partners in the last year. What what would you guys The number of men who have had zero a, per, partners. A, per, a percentage of men that percentage have had zero percentage of sexual men. Partners. I well this is a trick question so I want to say It's low cuz I just 72%. Oh, it's low. Uh, Isn't it? Oh, I want to say 70%. 70% of men have had zero sexual partners? That's oh, this year, I thought you said this year. In the, in the last year, what percentage of men in the United States have had zero sexual partners? Oh, 70%. Uh, what do you think, Sarah? <laughs> Everybody in the chat already knows it. I, <laughs> I don't, love I, it. I, I don't I love know. it. I guess, what do you think, Jamie? I don't know the stats. I know it's low. I, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know the stats, no, though. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's not a lot. It's, no, yeah. it's about 30% of men. Yeah. It's a, coming up on a third of men have had zero sexual partners in the last year. And here's the thing. Ooh. From your experience living here in Las Vegas, does it feel like that? Or does no. it feel like you are surrounded by dudes who have like 500 body count? Yeah. yeah. Fuck boys Only everywhere. because it's not like, you know, they have someone on the side or they always, you know, have that go-to uh, phone call. It's really just because the outreach is there for okay. them. So, to so my, my, po media. my point is... I think is, Vegas is a unique my, kind of pull to no, pick I, from. It though. is. While, while you may be correct in some instances, what I'm saying is that most men don't have that at all, no matter where they live. And the, the real reason is a lot of you don't notice them. A lot of you, when I say what percentage of men have had zero sexual partners the last year... Um, you didn't notice the cashier at Walmart and you didn't notice the guy who gave you your, your food at, at Raising Cane's you, uh, in the drive-thru. You didn't, in your mind, he doesn't even count. So that's why you were just like, well, it must be a low number. No. But what you're used to is the host who walked you into Zook, right? What you're used to is the incredibly good looking dude you know who who's the bartender? I don't know. I would have noticed those people if they if I was attracted to them. I would have mm -hmm. noticed them if I had been attracted Correct. to them physically. Now, yeah. if I'm not physically attracted to them, no, I'm not going to notice them. And it's the same for a girl. Yes, agree. Same thing. Um, so the, I'm curious. What do you guys think the average height of a an American man is? Five eight. Five eight. What do you think? Close. I've dated five them. nine. Huh? Five nine. What do you think it is? I think it's five nine. Right. Five nine. Yeah. It is five nine. It's yeah. interesting because Jamie Villamore came on here and said now, six two. Now, 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 <laughs> now. What is what is the what is the what is the, no, what is the number one height setting filter on dating apps right now? Six seven. So, yes. <laughs> exactly. So so it actually it actually Tall. drops yeah. it actually drops off past six six. So it, it goes. Uh, it's really funny. So it'll it'll be. Kind it, once you get above six two, it goes up. That's uh, six two six three is the peak, and then uh, and then it goes down at six four, down at six five, and down at six six, and then it, it goes yeah. down the other way when you get to six feet tall. When you get to five eleven, it just plummets from six feet to five eleven. Women just do not select for five eleven. Now you don't have this problem in Europe where they do it in centimeters. This is just. This is just <laughs> don't, I'm already true. having an issue with that's the percentages true. because yeah. I'm like I can't conversion. do centimeters. Like percent, okay, I don't know. This what, what math percentage? is hard. System, I don't know. <laughs> what percentage of men do you think are over six feet tall? <laughs> well, ten percent. No, twenty. Seventeen. What do you think? I don't know the percent. <laughs> I know it's, it's low. It's, oh, four, it it's fourteen. Yeah. Percent. It's about oh. fourteen and a half. What percent. apps are allowing you to choose? 
uh, high. I think yeah. they There's all do. I think they all do. Yeah. 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 I, I, I've heard that you have to pay a premium to choose, like, make it very specific. Oh, yeah. It, yeah, also, it's, ra- it's ranking. It's tournament yeah, ranking on, wow. on. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, if you get a choice, I understand why that percentage <laughs> of the hotties on there are the ones getting chosen. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I don't just think don't in person. It's shorter if, than me. That's it. Yeah, I, mean, that's, I would that's, notice that's generally what the the, cor- yeah. the the most common answer is. I just don't want someone shorter than me. That's what we would say. I'm not yeah. saying it could not happen. Yeah, though. I mean, how tall are you? So I'm five three. Would you consider a man who's five eleven short? Um, I wouldn't say that they're short. No, I wouldn't say that they're short. Would it be my preference? Like. Well, that's a different thing. Look, I was going to say a lot of my girlfriends who are, because I'm 5'7", so a lot of my girlfriends who are like, you know, 5 feet to 5'4", mm-hmm. I'm like, oh my God, I have a friend for you, but he's like, you know, how tall are they? They're like 5'10". No, that's too short for me. But I'm like, if you wear your highest heels, you will still be shorter. You know, like that's kind of going, like that's, you know, this is kind of one of those things where it's like you can, like I've, I've always preferred dating um, very tall men. Okay, that's always been like a thing that I've had personally, but I have dated outside of that because I have been attracted to them, Mm -hmm. just genuinely attracted to them. Tall personality. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) I've met many of those. I got you know, and that you gave me a you gave me a germ of an idea here because like I I, height is like one of the things that everybody fixates on right now. Yeah. Um, Because that's usually, I mean, from an evolutionary perspective, that's uh, Mm. universally what women select for is a guy Mm. that is taller than them, you know, bigger, stronger, whatever. But the height is always one of the the unifying factors when it comes to attraction or arousal, for that matter. Now, let me ask you this: you just you just said, "Hey, I, uh, you're five foot three, mm-hmm. and you would not consider a guy who's five a little, maybe not." No, consider, I would. But, what I'm saying is that I would actually. So, oh, you would. Okay. Yeah. So, but what I've what I tell guys is this: like that, like we just said it. The average height of the American male is, is five nine right now. Tom Cruise is like what five seven, five nine, something like so. that. Still, yeah. you know, five still, nine, you know, short, found so. a way around it, found an end run around that that height thing. Now, is it the fact that he's taller than you, or is it the fact that he is not as tall as a guy who's six foot tall? So is it um, is it is it like oh I want to look up to him because he's taller than me it makes me feel safe or uh, is it is the non attraction or like the the hesitation anyways is it because he standing amongst other guys who are taller than him you're gonna go damn I could have got a guy who's six foot tall <laughs> you know that's a really good question is it actually comparison? That's you know I that's a good question I haven't actually thought I haven't actually thought of that for for me the way that I have always viewed it at least for myself and the way that I would say probably most women view it is it's that safety thing that's what it's kind of rooted in it's that protection it's that safety and that security but that's a really interesting point about how they rank to other men mm-hmm. you know I look that that's just that is just something that I think a lot of women are highly attracted to, mm-hmm. myself included. But this is one of those things where it's like when you're really attracted to somebody, you'll make that exception. It's the same thing that I was saying mm-hmm. with the thirty thousand mm-hmm. dollar dude. Like, and I have dated like even though that has been my preference or my history, I have also dated somebody that's you know five seven. Mm-hmm. You know, and well, and made that exception because there was that attraction there, despite uh, the fact I'm, that he didn't I qualify might, for I the height. I might actually need to change my mind on something here because I, t- I tell guys no. Well, was it because of us? Well, oh my god! I'm, well, okay, now here's <laughs> let, hear me out though. Tooting my own horn. Tra- tra- we track we track we with me here. <laughs> track with me here. I talk to guys who are like I've, I've got friends and and guys that I work with who are Filipino. Okay, and they don't tend to be the tallest guys as you probably know. So they got a guy who's a Filipino. He's like five seven. And they go, Rolo, I'm doomed. I'm never gonna. Fall. I'm never gonna oh. get laid. I'm never gonna have a wife. I'm never gonna have children. You know, because we, uh, but you know, all the all the Filipino women want a guy who's like six foot tall, right? And so my advice has always been, look for a woman who's five six. Look for a woman who is five four. Look for the woman that you are. You know, you're a few like you were saying before. Even in heels, you're still, uh, you know, two inches tall or whatever. But maybe that doesn't matter because it's not necessarily about the guy being taller than you, it's about you being taller than the other dudes that are in the sort of available, you know, like in the global sexual marketplace. Well, look, I think that that can be an, I think that that could be a way to influence perception. I think it can be a way to influence how a woman picks, but that's a very temporary solution as far, as soon as you take him out of that out of that circle, you know, he'll be exposed to- Is selecting a guy based on height, is that superficial? 
Yeah, it is. Well, okay. Uh, yeah, but, but look, look, I, look, I, it is superficial, <laughs> but that doesn't mean it's bad. And look, like, thank you. There's okay. so, look, there, look, yes, I'm it's su- look, it's superficial. <laughs> okay, whatever. Listen, I was feeling listen, a way about I, myself. <laughs> I was like, okay. right, no, 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 no. See, look, I, I get, I get people saying like this kind of shit all the time, and it's like, you know what? There's nothing wrong in wanting what you want. Is it superficial? I put on makeup. Is that superficial? Yeah, whatever. It's not bad. <laughs> all right, a couple like, things. A couple things. Uh, you know? I have a friend of mine. She was. Uh, uh, she was sexually assaulted and she told me afterwards after that happened she dates these fucking monsters for specifically mm. for the reason she said she said i because this happened to me when i was younger she dates the like m- roided up monsters like 6'3 265 she's like that is the only kind of guy i'm attracted to someone if someone put their hands on me they would kill them that's mm. but again that doesn't mean that's every single go- girl tall, oh, exactly well, i, I know, I, I know. you could go date uriah faber it, and how tall is he who uriah faber or any is. any mma fighter that's short yeah and they're all little and they'll kill you yeah, they're all little sure. in our size but if anything yeah, I'm, I'm bigger so, than so, most of the so fighters here, I we, we had a guy in here talk about this he was like well there's no correlation between survivability and height Correct, but there's also no like. Also, men are attracted to women for hip to waist ratio and things that they see in cosmetic surgery or breast implants. It's not like we're fooling our evolutionary brains. I agree that they're mm. t- really, really tough guys that are five foot eight. Women are still attracted to men who are taller on average because mm. it's it's a function of like your evolutionary cave woman brain that still sees the has these signals. And the reality of the situation is most of you ladies are going to date men, and 99 percent of the time they're not going to have to kill anybody to protect you walking down the street. 100 percent of the time if you live here in Vegas. I never see fights here. Uh, and then, that, and that's that's generally, if we were back in East Dallas, we'd see fights every day. And I, I never see fights here in Vegas. So do you think environment and where you live of course, also? Of course, and, and that, so that was another thing I was saying, well, going back to what we were saying before. Uh, whenever I talk to women who live in Las Vegas and I say things like, oh, you know what, what you guys, you know, said that around the correct, well, you said 70%. A lot of times women are like, well, uh, uh, you know, what's the average, the average North American male, how many sexual partners that they have in their entire life? And they're like, oh, you know, like 40, 50, 100. And it's like, it's seven. And they're like, how the fuck is it seven? Like every Brock that I met, who's the host over at fucking Omnia in Manhattan, he's been with at least a thousand women. And like Not every Brock. Yeah. Brock. <laughs> whatever, whatever, you know, Caden or whatever guy that you guys are talking it's to. so unique. And the, and the thing is like, the thing Always. is like, what I'm, my point is like, a lot of times you, do, you just don't notice these average men. And she's brought up an example, even before I even had to say it, she was like, yeah, because I'm not attracted to them. I don't see them because I'm not attracted to them. And so that actually makes sense. So the problem is, and we, we haven't gotten to this point yet, but the problem is there's this big group of men that just like are being ignored by pretty women. Do you guys understand? Yeah, but it's the same. It's the same for women. The thing is, it's is not. That men, oh, yes, it is. It's not because there's no, because if it was the same for women, then the number of women that have had zero sexual well, partners here's the in difference. the last year would not be 12% no, here's to the, the 30% difference. of men. Men are attracted to, you know, women are way more selective. Okay. Of and course. what actually makes them attractive. Okay, so there's a smaller pool for them to pick from, whereas guys, you know, they'll get hard over anything, you know? So, like, they're, like a larger pool for them to pick from, okay? So it's not a balanced... It's not a balanced, uh, it's just not balanced, you know? So of course course. you're gonna see that difference in influx. Of course it's gonna influence the stats and like what that, how how you actually measure that and how that reads, you know? But you're, we're both picking from the same place. A guy isn't gonna see a girl that he's not attracted to either. The difference is, is that guys are just attracted to more women. But what would you tell the guys that are not the invisible men Mm. who are not being seen? What do you tell them? Step up your game? What do you do? It's incredible that you finally got Thank to the you. point. There we like go. You, you, you basically <laughs> yeah, just like, there we are. you unlocked the question to like a billion dollar Achievement industry. Achievement yes. unlocked. Yes. <laughs> yeah, like, so what's the answer? Like, like, so, I mean. So, so, so uh, he'll give his answer. I'll give mine. Mm-hmm. So he wrote a book. The, the book <laughs> that is the New York Times best sell, the, the best selling book that he wrote is based on exactly the question that you just asked. Mm-hmm. My program, Men of Action, is based on exactly the question you just asked. There have to, there, there is some outlet. These men still matter even if they are five foot seven in filipino yes, they, they, sti- <laughs> they, they still matter right so that that's the question and here's the thing what what i found is there are ways and we we see it like uh men who, who become extremely charismatic or generate a, a ton of high status or the one that i uh try to use the most or try to teach them the most is pre-selection which is meaning having a lot of women around you makes other women interested in you there's mm. there's scientific proof behind that one uh things yes. like that are other ways to get around the fact that, uh other ways to get around the idea that well i'm just short and therefore i don't have any 
uh, chance. So the, the idea, well, according to Black Pill, what I'm saying can't possibly be true. Mm -hmm. And then I show them my clients and I have clients that are five foot three and they're surrounded by beautiful women. And they're like, mm -hmm. there must be something wrong here. No, this has got to be fake. And it's not fake. It is true. That's the thing. There are other ways that men, and that, by the way, this is a massive advantage that men have is that because there's 237 reasons why women have sex with men, there are all these different avenues, whether it be inc being incredibly funny, incredibly charismatic, or incredibly rich, or incredibly famous, or incredibly talented, or incredibly muscular, or any of these other outli outstanding outliers that you have. And the reason, one of the things I always try to bring up is like Kobe and Shaq, they both scored a fucking ton of points and they did it in two different ways. There, are, there is a way who a guy who, for a guy who's five foot seven to turn his sliders, his attributes up, just like on Madden, how you had awareness, speed, acceleration, all these different maxing sliders. Maxing your stats. Maxing yeah. your stats. Again, there's some stats, like for instance, I know there's, I've seen dudes like, like pretty blue eyes. Girls are like, oh my God, he's so like, or some women who just like blonde hair, blue eyed dudes. And, I, and I'll be in a room with them and like the girls don't even notice I'm there. There's like, okay, all right, well, he, this, in this genetic stat, he has beaten me and there's nothing, I will never be as tall as Shaq and I will never look like this dude, okay? I understand that, but that doesn't mean I give up. I still go and I work on these other attributes that I can do, whether it be like, I, I try to read somewhere between 25 and 60 books a year mm -hmm. and I try to build my business and I try to rescue animals and try to show level, some level of agreeableness and empathy towards <laughs> my friends. And I happen, I tell, for me personally, I'm nothing special, but the biggest advantage Don't say I say that about yourself. <laughs> the biggest advantage I have, without a doubt, absolutely without a doubt, is the fact that I'm around so many other women that women are attracted. How tall to are me. you? I'm six one. The the. <laughs> Huh? You're six one? Yeah, I'm six one. Yeah, I'm around so many other women that. <laughs> <laughs> See, you got lifts. <laughs> no, no, I don't have lifts. Take your shoes off. Uh, yeah, I, I was gonna say. I was gonna say is like a lot of the guys that I. Uh, it was really great. I, I I missed the super chat here, but th there's a really great chat here just a minute ago. Um, how height and attraction like women want to be with a guy that other men want to be and other women want to have sex with other other find attractive as well like, you know they, there's a sort of an ego association with the, the type of guy you're the kind of girl that can get that kind of guy right mm -hmm. so uh it, it also comes back to respectability so i am in a business right now i mean i'm in the manosphere and i'm dealing with guys who are six one i'm dealing with guys like justin waller's like six two or six three something like that myron Gaines has got to be six two something and i oh, even robert kiyosaki is like six one at the, at the very least so when i'm, I'm five eleven and when i'm and i don't I'm, I'm still above average for the average you know height of guys but then there's this sort of like there, is there a respectability sense that goes along with a guy who is like m much taller? It seems to me that a lot of guys who are like sort of like the, the movers and the shakers in this industry tend to be six foot and above. And so I'm wondering if there's like, if those guys have a real frame of reference to understand what these guys are going through. Now, more to your point here is what do you tell these guys? It's not just, and, and by the way, yeah, of course, I, this is not just a sales pitch for, for men of action, okay? What this is is money, muscles, and game. Those are the three areas of men's lives that most of them are deficient in one way, okay? So if it's, if it's muscles, if it's like physique, it's, you know, get in the gym, get, in your, get your fitness on point. Uh, most guys, that's where they start because 75% of the United States population is overweight. 35% of men are morbidly obese. That's probably number one. That's probably where you're going to probably start to begin with. Then you've got muscle or money, muscles, and game. So then you've got you get your money on point, your career on point, so that you're making more than thirty thousand mm -hmm. dollars a year, but maybe not five million dollars a year. CJ Spark. Uh, the, the top, um, the top one percent of wage earners in the United States. What what number do you think that is? If you guys want to take a, a guess. Wage what? Uh, like a, how, income that you take home. What, what, to get in the top one percent, what is that number? Do you think it is? Mm. Seven million. Seven million to be in the top one percent. What do you think? I, I don't. No? I can't guess. I have no idea. It's about five hundred forty thousand. Fucking shit! I knew it was going to be lower yeah. than that. I so that, that, that puts you in the top one percent. That's why when women are like, "Oh my god, I want to do this guy makes multiple millions a year," I'm like, "Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, if he lives in Bel Air and he, you know, he happens to all, like, again, one, one of the things that happens is that when you, you, when the three of us, the four of us, are on stage at EDC in the Marquee Sky Deck, we are surrounded by dudes who do make two or three million dollars a year, mm -hmm. and you start getting confused that 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 yeah. is the world, it's, it's and the that a, is not that's, the that's world. Like, that's called the apex fallacy. Yeah, that is like the, one of the problems is when when I 
like again when, next time i do the maxim party i'm gonna invite you guys and we're gonna be on we're gonna be in the vip and in the vip at the maxim party all of those dudes do make five million dollars a year you're gonna be sitting ar around a bunch of fucking nba small forwards and guys who own publicly traded companies and you start thinking that that is the world and that is not the world but then you have all the women surrounding you and all the hot girls and then that's what they idealize and then oh, i want that i this is what I need so to this be doing. Is, has this ever affected you? So you're part you? of the problem. Have you ever seen that happen, yeah. though? Have you? Has yeah. that ever affected you? Yes. You've seen a guy who had a bunch of girls around him? Yes. And or even people I've dated, they date me just to attract the other women that are you're hot. The, you're the one that's yeah. the one girl. What, what was the feeling that you had? Mm -hmm. You saw a dude and he was around a, a bunch of other women and you, what, what was there? I mean, it kind of just sometimes messes with you. I catch myself when that happens. Yeah. You go to those events or whatever and you see all the good looking men that have the money and the hot girls around them and you're like, hmm. You, know, you think about it, but I mean, I'm not one to fall for that. But I'm just saying it can it can mess with of course certain people that aren't experienced. And yeah. If anything, that's the, like what I'm not attracted to. I, yeah, I might be yeah. in a minority, maybe because we're from here. That mm -hmm. I know the guys who are around a lot of women are the ones I'm just not going to be interested in. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah. I need all the attention, I guess. Yeah, or, we, are, you know, we are trash. I'm you are so a patchy girl. I mean, we are <laughs> yeah. big fucking red flag. You are a patchy girl. No, Let's just be honest. Brat. Full disclosure. Hey, uh, I'm a brat. <laughs> Tiana, will you move closer to her? Because you're moving a little bit off screen. There you go. Thank you, Michael. There you go. There we go. Beautiful. Move yeah, closer. I, I, close, uh, I have a close guy friend <laughs> that specifically asks me to hang out, to go with him, and we'll like go downtown or whatever and just walk, and he's bringing me just to look for her. So you're And has it worked? I'm part of it. Tell me, has it worked? He's going girls, but people then maybe later on message him or whatever, and they're like, "Oh, how are you friends with Stephanie Cook?" Like, mm. but he, I mean, he, he usually he gets girls. Yeah. I'm not saying it could be the right way that he gets girls. Yeah. But people ask him and inquire about it, or like he could take photos with me or whatever, and yes, that does work. Do you and charge? I, do you charge him for it? No. You need to charge a fee. He's one of my best friends for years, but I mean, <laughs> I'm like, all right, whatever. Like, I'll yeah. go with you. Shut up. Yeah. But uh, even with people I've dated in the past. I've and they're not good people, but um, them dating me and bringing me around, and then mm -hmm. you see the girl, type of other girls he's clearly has his sights set on, and he's just using me to bait. look. Yeah, bait. he's using me as bait, and then you mm -hmm. find out later like he's dating one of those girls, and it's just. To that. Are you in a relationship? Oh, sorry. Right now? Go ahead. Sorry. Are you, are you I am presently single, or are you in a relationship? Go ahead, girl. I don't know what I should say, but no, say whatever you I want. Would you say can no. say it's, it's I would complicated. Say no. It's complicated. <laughs> it's very complicated. Mm. 